Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have a couple DIYs. These DIYs are like, what did I buy this for and what am I going to do with it? Yes, I get so excited when I see cute things in the Dollar Tree and I pick them up and then I'm like, what am I going to do with them? I can't just keep piling stuff up. So today I am going to be doing a DIY with this cute Island Time pineapple with a toucan and the pretty flowers and the wall decor. It's the welcome with the pineapple family and friends. It's so cute. But I've had this laying around and I'm like, what am I going to do with it? I can't just buy stuff from the Dollar Tree and not do anything with it. So. If you'll stay tuned, this is an idea I came up with it. So those are two of the items I'll be using. And I also have this candle holder. It has the little triangles, the small triangles. And I'll be using that. And I have already previously painted a different candle holder that the Dollar Tree has. It has the bigger triangles in it. And I'm gonna show you the difference. So if you would like to do this DIY and you can't find one or the other, you could pick either one of these to use in this DIY. These up at the Dollar Tree. I got this one at the Dollar Tree. They do have different sizes. And today I'm gonna to be painting this matte black. I also have this bag of different colored rocks that I've had probably since last year. And I also picked up some sunglasses just for this project. So I kind of have something in mind to let's do with this. I thought I would set it out on my patio. Uh, that's where I go every morning to um, drink my coffee and sit and relax for a little while before I start my day. And I also will be using this yellow flame apple barrel acrylic paint that I picked up from Walmart. And when I finish, I'll show you outside how I'm gonna use this. So stay tuned. I'm start at the top front right here. So I'm just gonna put the hot glue on. I'm gonna let these come over the edge. Just gonna go down and keep going. This hot glue is holding pretty good. So if you don't have the E6000, I wouldn't run out and get it just for this project. I would definitely just use this. It is holding very well. I've already tried to do this. So you would have to pry these off now to get them off. I'm letting it hang over the edge just a little here. And I'm going to do the top part. I don't like to leave any glue hanging, so I will always go back and get that. And 
I'm going to go ahead and do a couple at a time here. That's how fast the glues dry into it. So this really adheres well to this. That's how it's looking. I'm gonna start on the top edge. Covering up the corners so you can't see the corners of that. Then I'm just gonna go down and keep keep it going. And you can pick out any of the colors you would like. You don't have to get these exact colors. They have a lot of the different ones at Dollar Tree. This is how it's turned out. I thought it turned out really cute, and now it's really heavy. And um, as I said, I will be putting it on my patio, so it's definitely not gonna blow away. And I did not add any to the bottom, as it will set on the easel that I have outside of spray painting. Now I'm just gonna paint the candle holder. coming out pretty. This is how it will look when you have it painted. I just put one coat on. I'll go back around and smooth all the paint out, but it's looking very cute. Shay, they also have this um, trinket pot that I picked up. They have several different colors, even in yellow. So if you didn't want to paint, you could just pick up the yellow one from Dollar Tree. It's a smaller one than these two, but it's so cute too. Now, in these, I'm going to add some greenery. This is one of the picks, the succulent picks that they had at the Dollar Tree. It had the little clip on it, and I've just left the little clip on, and I'm just going to stick it right into there. And look, it looks like we have a little pineapple. And then I'm going to put some of the onion grass in this. This is the onion grass and how I have it arranged now. I do have some more throughout the house. But I'm going to take my onion grass out of here and use it in our little pineapple decor that I'm making. And um, this is a milk jug or milk container that I had got from Dollar General last year. It was a hard orange looking and had some kind of writing on it. And I just took it and painted it and um, turned it into a galvanized look. If you're interested in that, uh, leave a comment below and I'll do a video on how to galvanize your tin container. Now I took the onion grass out of my container that I did get from Dollar Tree and now I'm just gonna clip it down, cut it down, cut it all off. I have the first part cut off and I'm just going to put it in then I'm going to continue and cut all this off in half and put into the how it turned out when I put the onion grass in I think it's really cute next this is the last DIY of this video and I'm going to do the pineapple and we're going to change it around a bit I'm going to sand this part off it's got a lot of glitter but I'm actually going to leave the glitter on the top and the sides. So now I put some paint on and I'm just gonna paint this 
Uh, I'm going to try to go around the edge where the green is and just be very careful so I don't go over the lines. Just stay careful with that and get this painted. And this is how it's looking with one coat of paint on. And I'm going to just um, let this dry and I will come back and do a second coat. But I did try to stay on the lines as best I could. So I'm going to let this dry and I will come back and paint a second coat when it's dry. second coat of paint has dried and I want to put the little sunglasses on. These little sunglasses, if you were thinking about picking some up for little kids, they are very sturdy. I um, have been wrapping them around. I wanted to keep the side on. So now what I'm going to do is wrap them around and hot glue them on. The glasses would not work with me strapping them around. These little glasses are too strong. So I'm just gonna put some hot glue here and here and hold them to the hole. I got this off of one of the springtime garden decor at Dollar Tree and I took it off and used, I can't remember what was hanging on here, but I've used it for another project. And I'm just gonna lay it down and let it be my stencil and I'm gonna write welcome here. And I'm just gonna use a black Sharpie to do that. That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna outline it and go across and I'll come back in a minute when I'm done. Now I have the welcome road on and now I'm just gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna go through and give it some little like um, V's to make it look more like a pineapple. This is how the DIYs turned out. I thought they turned out so cute. I brought some water out in my Dollar Tree margarita glass and my pineapple straw, napkins, and cookies from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take a break after this DIY. And I brought out my little phone stand to have out so I can watch YouTube while I'm out relaxing. But this is a cute little DIY and how it turned out on the little easel, a uh, spray painted black from Dollar Tree. And these are the little um, candle holder DIYs. I thought they turned out really cute as well. And this is my little part of the world where I come to sit in the morning. That's my chair. And this is Will's chair. And this is where I just come and drink my coffee, listen to the birds and watch uh, YouTube a little bit and check up on it and get a little relaxation and drinking my coffee before I start my day. Pineapple door hanger turned out. I thought it turned out super cute and I have it hanging from the Dollar Tree door hanger. That's how the door hanger looks when you're walking up to my back door. And this is my jute rug DIY all Dollar Tree made. If you would like to know how to make this, you could check it out. It's on our channel. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Please subscribe, like, and comment below. See you in the next one. Bye.